understand that your party has, you know, probably called for a nationwide peaceful protest mm -hmm. because INEC has refused to give um, Peter Obi access to, um, you know, the beavers as well. Yeah. I'd love for you to touch on that. But mm. more importantly... So, guys, you can see that the Labour Party is brazing up for a nationwide peaceful protest. We need to come out to tell the world that we are not satisfied with what happened on the day of the election. We need to tell Nigerians and the whole world that INEC has refused Mr. Peter Obi not to inspect the materials that were used for the presidential election, despite the go-ahead order that the court gave him. We all know what happened, all the riggings, all the touts, all the disruptions. We all know what happened during this election. So guys, the obedience are no more keeping quiet. A Labour Party is brazing up for a nationwide peaceful protest. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell. Young where? Young ups. Have them been uh, governor of Anambra. Anyway, uh, Your Excellency, if you weren't running for president, which of your two major opponents would you be voting for? None. Why not? Because they are not as competent as any other person out there. They have no track record. None of them is qualified except me. Wait. Young where? Young ups. Have them been uh, governor of Anambra eight years? Anyway, uh, Your uh, Excellency, if you weren't running for president, which of your two major opponents would you be voting for? None. Why not? Because they are not as competent as any other person out there. They have no track record. None of them is qualified except me. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ayo Farashi. You know me and I know you. I'm so excited to that tonight, celebrating the victory of the PDP. And my friends in the APC, all of you are, that has won your elections, congratulations. We wish you very happy to know. But let me quickly say this. I'm so excited, particularly by the loss of Governor Tambua's candidate in Sokoto. You see, when a man is treacherous, that's a payback time. He betrayed the party in 2015. He ran back. He betrayed the Ashwadu he went to meet in APC. He betrayed Wiki that sponsored him in 2019. This is payback time. And I appreciate the people of Sokoto for voting against Tambua. And I enjoy you again. Vote against him. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ayo Farashi. You know me and I know you. I'm so excited to that tonight, celebrating the victory of the PDP. And my friends in the APC, all of you are, that has won your elections, congratulations. We wish you a very happy turn But well, let me quickly say this. I'm so excited, particularly by the loss of Governor Tambua's candidate in Sokoto. You see, when a man is treacherous, that's a payback time. He betrayed the party in 2015. He ran back. He betrayed the Ashwadu he went to meet in APC. He betrayed Wiki that sponsored him in 2019. This is payback time. And I appreciate the people of Sokoto for voting against Tambua. And I enjoy you again. Vote against him. It has become imperative for me to bring to the attention of the general public the ongoing rape on democracy that is currently ongoing in Abia State. After the Labour Party have won all the local government in Abia State, the governor of Abia State is trying to change his local government resort, Obingwa in order to obtain the entire outcome of the election. And I speak with you, INEC officials and all other officers are held hostage by the governor in his local government. And he's trying to change the election results. Same scenario is playing out in Enugu. The governor of Enugu state is working hard and they are trying to change the results that we have won clearly. From all over Lagos, we are getting distressing reports of voter intimidation, voter suppression. Worrying thing about this is that INEC and the police have shown to be complicit in this. Now, the reason why we're why we're doing this video is it's important that INEC and the police realize that they are provoking, they are provoking 
negotiations right now. INEX still has hours to make do the right thing. A lot of people will be able to, with the help of security agencies, calm down a lot of areas. But a lot of areas are still under intense attacks by thugs and hooligans of the APC. I call on INEC, most especially, and the police, not to set Lagos on fire.